Hey there guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about undo and redo. How do we undo this new Roblox Studio interface and how do we make them to redo the changes that they have made? I'm just kidding guys. Today we're going to talk about how to undo and redo inside this new Roblox Studio's new interface. Last week we posted this new video named Roblox Studio New Interface Part 2. This will make you smile, November 2025. And a viewer said, I don't know where the undo redo buttons went. They disappear actually. Is there a way to do it on the keyboard? Apparently somebody posted an answer to that question, but we're going to go ahead and do this video anyway, just in case you want a visual example of it. Apparently when the developer, you know, um, made this brand new Roblox Studio interface, they forgot to include the undo and redo button. So now the question is, how do we do undo in this new Roblox Studio interface? As stated by this person, control Z to undo, control Y to redo. For a visual example of that, let's go ahead and do it inside Roblox Studio. So here I have the new Roblox Studio interface. See how beautiful it looks, but I guess a lot of people would disagree. And now if I go into my script here, let's, how about we go into this script here? Wow, that's a big script. I was looking for something small. And let's say if I want to go and change this voice ID here from one to two, and I want to undo that, there is no undo button for me to undo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do control Z and it goes to blank. I do control Z again and it goes back to one. Now, what if I made a mistake? I say, oh no, I didn't want to undo it. So I want to redo, then I'm going to do control Y. It goes back to blank, control Y again goes back to two. So that is how you do undo and redo inside your scripts. What about if you're inside the workspace? Let's take this part for example, and I'm just gonna press delete. And then I say, oh no, I made a mistake. I want it back. There is no undo redo button here. So I'm gonna do control Z to undo. So it's back. And then I change my mind. I say, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. I wanna return it back to the way it was before. So I'm going to do control Y and it goes back to the way it was before. That is to redo. Now you can see it's very simple to do it using the keyboard shortcuts to do undo and redo. But if you still prefer to have an undo and redo button here, Roblox is giving you the tool for you to be able to do it yourself. And here it is. They say, here's an example showing you how to add undo and redo tools to every tab. So it's going to look something like this. You have the undo and redo button. That link also includes instructions on how to download and install these tabs. So it looks like you're gonna have to do some work here. It's, it's not like a, an easy thing to do. If you like, I can include this link here in the description of the video for you to give it a try. As for me, I'm okay with using the keyboard shortcuts, Control Z and Control Y to undo and redo. Even when they had the undo and redo buttons before, I rarely use them because I just like to use the short, the, the keyboard shortcuts better. If you decide to give it a try, please let me know in the comment how it went. I'm very interested to hear how it went for you, whether you had any problem following the instructions by Roblox, and whether you like the undo and redo buttons, or did you find any problems with them. Everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you in the next video.